Welcome to Crazy Towns, 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT9. I'm like the explosive one. And this is 10 minutes or less. Let's start the timer. Ding. TNT. Yo. The game you've been waiting for forever came out. What game is Little that? Overwatch 2. Overwatch it's your, 2. It's your, it's your dirty pleasure secret. <laughs> my dirty pleasure secret. It is my... Uh... It's my, my guilty pleasure as well. Yeah, my brain wasn't working. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess it's a guilty pleasure. I don't really know if I'm guilty necessarily, and like, it's not like I'm hiding the fact I like Overwatch. Actually, today I was reading on Reddit and it hit 20 million concurrent players currently. Yeah, I thought it was 25 million. It might have been more. Yeah, that's a lot. 20 plus million concurrent players. That is a lot. So the game came out uh, on the fourth. And you couldn't play it till the 16th. Well, yeah. Part of the reason I couldn't play is because I was deathly ill. Um, but Yes, yes. That, am, that doesn't hurt. I'm feeling better now. Um, but yes, the game was under multiple DDoS, atta DD DDoS attacks. Oh, DDoS. What, oh, that's what it was? Yeah, there was two DDoS attacks that happened on day one. Um, it gave you queues of like 30,000 people ahead of you. And then by the time, and even if you waited the hour and a half to get into the game, you would still get kicked. <laughs> yeah man that uh people are d's dude it is it is kind of a douchebag maneuver um i don't it's it's like i don't know how do you feel about that it happened to me i remember when the nintendo i mean nintendo when the, when the new xboxes came out the last new ones um not the last new ones that just came out but like xbox the xbox ones, ones. Yeah. yeah i yeah. remember lizard squad did a ddo a ddos attack and i couldn't play uh Destiny. Gra Destiny. I couldn't play Grand Theft Auto because of DDoS attacks. So, I mean, this is, it's, it's not really like a new development. Yeah. I mean, back then I was playing Destiny and I was pretty mad because it was on Christmas Day, too. It was on Christmas Day. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that. And then that, what was that guy's name? He has a really silly name. The guy, like, offered the money to turn it back on. What was that guy's Elon name? Elon Musk? No. Uh, Kanye West? <laughs> yes. Yes. He <laughs> was like, I have a chest full of war memorabilia. If you <laughs> want um, no, God, what was that guy's? I want Michael I, Bloomberg? All I can think of is is Saquon, but that's not it. It's, uh, it's God, I can't think of the guy's name. Somebody had, offered Lizard Squad money to turn back yes, on the Destiny. Yeah, Destiny of Summer <laughs> Stew. I can't remember his name. But anyways, how is Overwatch 2? Now that you're playing it, are, uh, what, are you, what are your general uh, consensus concerns about it? So I've only been able to play it for, I don't know, maybe about five or six days here. And not even a lot, you know, depending on like what work and what not is like. Um, it's fun. It is fun. It is not the Overwatch of old. Are you the sad now because of that, dude? Not really. Not really. Um, if I were to get into like some of the deep things, Overwatch 1 was two tanks, two uh, damage uh, specialized characters, and then two uh, healers. support characters. Healers yeah, yeah. Is, is, is a word that a lot of support mains find to be... Offensive? Little, yeah, a little offensive. Oh, is it triggering? Because I'm a, you're a support. You're not a healer. You're not just there to heal. You're to support. Regardless. Um, the new one is only one tank, two damage dealers, and then two support. Do you think support. less of support characters? No, I, I main support. Yeah, me a, too. When I play it, that's what I'm, I, that's I, what I, I would used say, to. Yeah, I would say I'm a support main. Um, well, no, I'm probably, I'm a wrecking ball main, tank main, and then I, I dabble a lot in support. Not How so do much people in DPS. feel about you being a wrecking ball main when you're the only tank now? Because you used to be, still be another tank. Because wrecking yeah. ball is kind of like a solo, pop in, pop out kind of. It's not a. He is. So you know what's funny is that I, I, I play the game poorly, all right? I don't think oh, I've whatever. ever, Get I don't think, I've, I've sure. never, I've, I've been in diamond like once. That, believe me, that's bad. <laughs> I'm not good at the game, all right? Um, especially when I watch, like, Overwatch League, I'm like, I'm not good. I find that the way that I was playing Wrecking Ball in Overwatch 1 that was uh, probably not as beneficial to the uh, to the team, at least in, in, in ability to climb, is more beneficial to me to play now. So there's a lot less stun, a lot less CC, which is character control. Okay. So Wrecking Ball can just move around freely. Like I feel like I'm free. I don't have to worry about can the can the I'm sorry can the cast uh, stun me. I don't have to worry about can the Brigida shield bash me. All of those stuns are gone. Um, even the Sombra stun or her her little lockout ability has been has been uh, modified to oh, it's yeah? even less and less. So you feel a lot more free. 
Um, on the same note, as a support player, uh, your life is going to be on fire. <laughs> you are because support players now, because they don't have the second tank to to hide behind, you got to take care of yourself a lot more. Okay. And I- the DPSs have been buffed, so they're going to come after you. Interesting. Do you find it uh, playing support harder? Definitely. Definitely harder. Nice. Um, supports, like I said, man, you got to take care of yourself. Support have a new passive ability in the game. Um, where they heal themselves for 15 points of healing per second after not taking damage for five seconds. So Okay, so if you're not getting hit, you're, you're healing yourself. So it's yeah. like, so you don't have to worry about like with Moira throwing orbs to heal yourself because you're already healing yourself. Um, I, you know, as much. As much. It's, it's definitely, you notice the difference in the amount of healing that you, uh, that you do when you're not taking damage, but it's not going to save your life if you're being shot at. You did know? you have to start all over with unlocking skins and all that stuff? No, I did not have to do that. God would hate that. I still, they honestly, they gave a bunch of little freebies to the people who used to play Overwatch where it's like uh, the skins that you got in Overwatch 1, they are now charging anybody that comes in the game now up to $20 for those old legacy skins. Like, oh, wow. That's, yeah. that's I mean, that's interesting. Yeah. Well, and then... And then, but you, okay, so you had a ton of boxes left over. Yeah. Do, will those unlock Overwatch 2 skins if you unlock them now? So, this is so funny, man. So, um, those legacy credits can be used to unlock some skins. I've already used them to unlock a, a bunch of skins. Um, I had so many boxes. I think I had like 2,600 some odd boxes at the end of Overwatch. Right. right. I ended up with 265,000 credits. Um, a lot of people, if if they know anything about Overwatch, they'll be like, "That is a bunch. That's a lot." Yeah. So, man. were you able to just come in and buy all the stuff that you don't have? Yeah. So yeah, you're basically, basically all the full unlocked again. To a certain extent. Now they do have a store now in the game because the game is now what they free call, with microtransactions. What they call a live service game where they're going to update it constantly, but they're charging you for those uh those cosmetics. And in the store for a legendary skin right now, it's one. It's uh, yeah, it's twenty two dollars. I think. Holy Jesus! And but you get like a legendary skin. They're usually those are like the bundles. You get a legendary skin, a spray, an emote, and like uh, I don't know, like I don't know, a charm or something. Lord for Almighty, your, for your good. Yeah, I mean, look, I'm not too concerned with buying like every skin. Like a lot of people are like, I need every skin. I'm like, I don't care about the new Sojourn skin or the new Ash skin or the new. McCree skin. I said McCree. I said it. Or, you know, it's like I don't play those characters. If one comes out for a character that I like, then I'll I'll think about it. Yeah, well, but here's the other thing too, is like I mm-hmm. don't care at all what other people see when they see my character. And when I play it, all I see is the gun. So what do I care what my character looks like at all? I mean, I feel you, man, but some skins are pretty awesome. I mean, for but you're just doing everyone else's who benefits. You don't benefit from that at all. I mean, you get to see it when you emote, and you get to know when you see when you're looking at the weapon what skin you're using. Yeah, the weapon I mean, I changes. guess that's important. It, look, it, its importance is a subjective. If you know? You're right. A it's a hundred percent, hundred percent subjective. So I would never expect you to spend twenty two dollars on a skin because you're like, oh, I need that skin in my life. But you know, some people are like, I need that skin in my life. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't feel that way. There's a new Genji Mythic skin. Mythic skins are. Uh, like skins that are customizable. Oh, you, you can change the color. You can change between. I think there's three different color schemes, three different face masks. Oh my! Three God. different like little tattoo designs, and you get the you know you get weapons that look different depending on what what you go with. Okay. So I mean, there's there's some cool stuff. There's some very money hungry stuff in there as it well. Sounds cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, Jonas, is that look, all in all, the gameplay itself is fun. Everything feels a little bit different, um, but it's still classic Overwatch. Um, if you're not into the game now, this is a prime time to get into it. It is free to play. Yeah. Skins yeah, I mean- cost money, yes. Characters may cost money down the lines, yes, but the game is free to play. I don't see why anybody wouldn't want to try it out. Yeah, especially with how popular it was when it was when it cost money to play. So, yeah. anyways, I just want to talk about that because it's new. 
Go to thecrazetown.com. That's all the time we got for today. For Jonas. TNT. We out.